Smithy Industries. Hi there, Dave here again. Welcome back to the Smithy Workshop. Today we're going to cover an email we got the other day from a customer who said, I took my tailstock off my machine, but when I put it back on, it won't lock. No matter how tight I tighten that handle, it still slides. Let's show you what happens. We're going to take this tailstock off with the lock unlocked, and we slide it right off the side. And did you hear that noise? It's right down here. There's the gear for the tailstock. Now, most anybody's going to spot that gear, but what they don't spot is if this little bitty pin right here comes out. Now, let me bring this in closer so you can see it real good. It's just a round pin, it's tapered on one end, flat on the other. And what this does, this goes in a hole right here, and as you tighten the handle down, the tapered part comes in and pushes against the gear. That's easy to lose. Um, yeah, I've got an extra one in my shop, just in case. Okay? So, let's show you how to put the tailstock back on. And this is probably the easiest way. I usually will take this all the way out of here. Okay? And we're going to get the tailstock on here with the gib first. The gib only goes on one way. And you can tell when you get it on the right direction because it's flat across the bottom here. If you got it on the wrong way, you see how it sticks down? So let's get that gib into position. You can feel it catch in the little sheet metal screws. Oops. And stay, thank you. We're going to sit it right here on the end. Slide it down carefully. We'll drop it. in place, take your little pin, and you want to sit this in just like this with the tapered side way in that way. Sit it in the hole. Let's push it in with something. Just like that. There we go. And now you can screw this right down on top. Get it started there. Fumble with it a few times. There we go. Now, if you've got an older machine, while well, you've got the tailstock off, clean real good underneath there. You can use a little mineral spirits to clean that gib. Make sure you oil it and you put it back together. Now, that's, all. that's one of the simplest little things there, but it can drive you crazy if you don't want the little pins in there. Now, if you happen to have lost that pin, you can get them from Smithy. You can call on order it. Or you order it over the internet there, it's an S22420. And keep them in stock all the time. Hope this helped you a little bit, and we'll see you on the next video.